in this demo, we will see what uh, Seams Zenon can do in terms of performance uplift in an embedded use case on an R2D you no know, hardware. So if we move to the next uh, slide. Um, there we go. Uh, so there's a uh, picture of what I have here. It's the um, Arduino Nano 33 Beely Sense plus an Arducam. And uh, this chip, this uh, piece of hardware is powered by um, ARM's Cortex M4 CPU. It has a megabyte of flash, 256 kilobytes of SRAM, and uh, 64. It's clocked at uh, 64 megahertz. So you can find the uh, full instructions. Um, how to connect these wires and uh, and more in the uh, readme md uh, file the markdown file in the tensorflow repo uh, a link will be available after this uh, presentation as well so first a big thank you to uh, pete warden and uh, google's tensorflow light micro team for being a huge help in putting this together i would also like to thank the arduino team for um, uh, their swift release. So uh, TensorFlow Lite is available as a library in Arduino and the latest version of that li library now also includes Seams Zen and optimized kernels. So even though uh, this demo is done with Arduino, there are many other targets available on the TensorFlow repo. You can find, for example, a SparkFun board. You have a few boards from uh, ST microelectronics available. And um, since I'm, I mentioned briefly in the beginning of the presentation that you can generate projects, so you can generate an embed OS project. And by doing so, it enables the um, target configuration for hundreds of boards. So have a look at that. Now we can go to the next. All right, here's a step-by-step -step instructions. First, uh, clone the TensorFlow repo from GitHub, and uh, then you generate an Arduino project. These two, uh, these two steps might take a while, so I've actually prepared two versions of it, one with CMSs and one without CMSs. Step three, you unzip these uh, uh, the generated project into your Arduino libraries folder. Now, um, then you go to step four and you can compile and flash this demo using the Arduino ID. Now, uh, th this is, like I mentioned before, it's integrated into the TensorFlow that um, is exists in the Arduino ID. So it's actually only a one click to uh, install this package. If you choose the latest version, you will get the CMSIS and optimizations. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I have prepared a build without uh, CMSIS, so we will look at that first. So I'm gonna take over the screen. I hope the demo guys are with us today. Let's see, uh, let's see what happens here. So I've connected the board to, uh, uh, to my computer, to my laptop. Uh, I've enhanced uh, or increased the font size here. So you all can see, uh, read what I'm uh, doing here. So I'm, first, I just wanna take a look at the serial monitor here, what comes out. So uh, I expect some output for each, uh, when each inference is done. And uh, without CMSIS, it takes, uh, here we go. And here's the, uh, there's some extra prints that I've added. So as we can see in this case, it takes about uh, 19 seconds to finish an inference. And um, yeah. here we go. So, um, I'd like to show this on the board as well because they've done it quite nicely using a LED. So I'm going to stop sharing here. And if we can focus on mine 
Uh, camera, there we go. All right, so look at this. Um, it has uh, the LED blinks in three colors, or has three colors, blue, red, and green. Blue means it captures an image. Red means no person, and green means a person. So um, maybe you didn't see that, but it just turned over to green. And before it did that, it captured another image. The first image was probably captured on me. Now I'm focusing this camera right into the wall. So I expect it to be red, and there we go. So now it has already captured a picture of the wall. So it's gonna be uh, hopefully red next time as well. But if we uh, wait another, let's see. Here we go. That was another capture and a red because the previous picture was on the wall. And now I expect it to be green because it's facing uh, it's facing me. There we go. So <clears throat> that's how the demo works. And uh, as you saw from the, from uh, the printouts, it takes about 19 seconds to do the inference. Um, now I've prepared the build here for the same demo, but using Zena. So we're gonna see what type of speed up we get. So I do uh, compile here. So we do the same thing here. We open the serial monitor to see the printouts. And as you can see now the text goes by a lot faster. So we stop the scrolling there. You can see here uh, 1.2 seconds. So uh, instead of 19 seconds, 1.2 seconds, uh, which is quite a significant uplift, what's that, 16, seven, 16 times the performance or something like that. All right, so um, let's look at the, let's look at the LED. All right, if we can get focus on my uh, video here again. There we go. You can see that it's gonna flicker by a lot faster. Now, I, as I said before, it's uh, the seems as an um, implementation is a bit exact, so we don't expect any accuracy difference, but I'm just gonna prove my case here. So we moved towards me and, oh, typical demo bad luck. Can you see the lights flickering there? That's zooming on my, so there we go. We have, um, looks like it's detecting me as a person, so if I, Flip this towards the wall like this. All right, here we go. No person, no person. It's a much faster frequency yeah. to the blue light. Yeah. There we go. I'm bending it carefully now into the wall. No person against me. No person. All right. Uh, got it working. <laughs> Great. So we've seen the uh, the demo. And here are some links that you may find useful. Uh, first one is TensorFlow Lite Microplus CMC's integration. Next one is similar, but for ETHOS U55 instructions. Uh, we have a link to the CMC's N and GitHub project and uh, the person detection int8 example that we just uh, saw. Uh, we have ARM AI uh, landing point. Good, a lot of inter interesting reading on that link. And finally, you have the ML platform ETHOS U55 landing page. So there you will, mm, on this link, you will find other links to the ETHOS U55 driver, the Vela compiler, uh, etc. cetera. 